place the front struts in. Followed by the back struts on we were facing the lip at the back. Here we see the 19 inch uprights being put into position. These will be used to mount rack mount equipment uh, such as patch panels, switches or any um, accessories that fit into the cabinet like the LMS data uh, shelving. Notice the top roof shows a cutout for a single um, fan. Um, that uh, can be purchased or it can be left as is so uh, you've got a hot air convection that comes out the, the top of the cabinet. The reason why you have front and rear posts is obviously um, so it can be secured from both ends not just from the front of the, the cabinet but also the back so it doesn't flex and damage the, the profiles. So please make sure that all the screws um, are fitted suitably within the cabinet uh, to make it rigid as possible. Um, you may have your own specific designs on uh, the way you want to do that. Uh, this is one example of how it's done. The next stage is uh, the blanket, uh, uh, a outer uh, blank panel that goes on the rear of the cabinet and um, this can be, then be attached to 
the wall or the, the design of the wall. Um, so it has a series of screws that fits in the back that goes to the, uh, the cabinet frame at the back. Should be quite easy to fit the screws in there. Um, we recommend to use a power screwdriver. Uh, reduces the times uh, at the time to actually install it. Um, and it uses a standard Phillips crosshead uh, design on the screws itself. So we're looking about two thirds of the, of the way through uh, the construction of the cabinet itself. Um, Paul will now actually be fitting the rear um, bar that goes on the back uh, that will allow it to be affixed to a wall um, with the appropriate fixings um, for your specific wall. Uh, please bear in mind that if it's breeze or brick or cavity, you will need a specific fixings that go onto the wall uh, we, LMS Data, or our distributors do not supply those because obviously there are various types of uh, wall. You also need to be aware of what the load bearing of the wall is and not to exceed that. If you're unsure, please um, refer to a qualified engineer uh, or builder. Okay, that looks like that's fitted. Please make sure it, it's tightened up and it's not loose. Um, and once that's done, uh, we then proceed to attach the clip-on side panels uh, that simply just clip in. Uh, you can do that pre or post when the, wall, uh, when the cabinet is on the wall, it's entirely up to you. And what's left is the front glass door. Um, and obviously please be careful that this is tempered glass and um, it can shatter so make sure it's uh, done on the correct work surface. Uh, it's hinged as you can see from the front there's spring hinges. Uh, you need to put the nylon uh, washers on, in place as shown in the video. Make sure that's lined up and it just springs into position like so and then there's the key, and you get a set of keys with that. Please don't lose those. And then you have a completed LMS Data flat pack wall cabinet. Thanks for watching.